Today's review is the Venus Menstrual Cup. This is Kim from Put A Cup In It and I've been testing out the Venus Menstrual Cup for two cycles and I'm here to tell you how it worked for me. This is a brand that we've been getting a lot of requests for because it's a newer brand. It's very well priced between $15 and $20 a cup or you can order the two pack for $30. One of the other great things about this cup is that it's a higher capacity cup. Quick interruption to remind everyone watching this review that if you are not subscribed to Put A Cup In It and you like our menstrual cup content, find yourself searching and finding all of our videos about cups it would be great if you subscribed and that way you wouldn't have to search anymore. You just get notified when we have new content. Let's start by going into the box and giving you a look at what it comes with. I was sent um, two, two packs, one set for photography and one set for me to test. This is the photography set, so this is new. Uh, and it gives you all the information that you need on the back of the box, including the capacity. On the box it does say it's 22 milliliters, but it also says it's up to 29 if you count over the holes capacity, and this is according to the brand. And on the large it has 38 listed, but then it also has 47 milliliters listed if you're going above the holes. Most cups on their larger size only hold about 30 milliliters, so this is definitely going to give you a little longer wear time if you have a heavier period. It comes in plastic. Not a huge fan of the packaging for this cup in terms of like it kind of looks like a cheapy cup because of the design and I know I'm coming at it from a weird perspective. I'm super into packaging and design. Um, but I definitely don't love that these come in a plastic bag. It's totally unnecessary, especially if brands are giving you the instruction to boil your cup before using it for the first time, just to get rid of any of the dirt and debris from manufacturing. There's really no reason it should come in plastic. This is non-porous material. I think most people would be happier to not see it in plastic. It's not necessary. But in terms of the product development, it's just a really nice cup. Um, doesn't feel luxe, it doesn't feel silky, it's does, just, it doesn't feel nasty, it's just very basic, normal silicone. Um, so it's, uh, eh. it does come also with bags. They're just really basic canvasy cotton bags that have the brand on it. Nothing cute, but totally functional, so um, it works. I like cutesy bags, and uh, if you hate the bag and you buy a Venus, Put a cup in it does sell some really funny bags on our Etsy shop, so just giving ourselves a plug on that. These are the two cups. This is the larger, obviously. This is the smaller. I like that there's a very big difference in the sizes. In terms of their design, they have just a really basic shape, nothing super fancy. Rounded base has um, a shorter stem on the larger because it's a longer cup. This is actually um, kind of on the higher end of our length scale without the stem, it's right under Diva Cup. So it still actually works for most people lengthwise, but it's a little longer than many of the average cups. And then the small lengthwise falls around the Organic Cup without the stem, uh, which is how we typically measure things because people usually want to remove the stems. It does have grips on the base. And the stem is very sturdy, but flexible, and it's rounded at the bottom, but you can cut at each little notch for a nice clean break if you want. And that's what I did first. Um, I started trying the small because the large looked too big for me. Um, I love when people say this because I'm like, let's be real, probably not too big for me, but comfort wise, I thought this would be better for me. So I started testing the small and um, I did cut the stem down to like two notches, which was very comfortable for me, um, but eventually ended up trimming the stem completely. Has the typical suction holes, has measurement lines, which a lot of people really like. So on the small, it has seven and a half milliliters and 15 milliliters. And on the large, it has 15 milliliters and 25. On the firmness of the Venus, I would compare it to, um, I gave this a three. It's very close to uh, Diva. It's not super firm and it's very, it's very uniformly firm. So the rim and the body are essentially identically firm. Um, the rim is 
a little bit thicker, but not by much. So all in all, it's just a really basic, simple cup, nothing fancy, uh, with the exception of it being a higher capacity cup, which people are always looking for. And cannot forget this price. It's really amazing, 15 or 20. I don't understand why this is 20 and this is 15 if you buy them by themselves. It's not like the amount of silicone should make one cost more than the other, especially by $5. Um, that may change when people complain. I don't know. But you can buy the two-pack for 30 Starting with the small in terms of my personal experience with the Venus. The small was not a good fit for me. It was too narrow at the diameter for my cervix. So on a lower cervix day, I don't usually like to have my cervix sitting within a cup, but in this cup, it just sort of did. And in fact, it kind of suctioned, let's say this is my cervix, it kind of suctioned around my cervix. And I immediately started feeling discomfort and cramping, and I thought some readjustment would help, but it just didn't. So um, I had to give up on the small quite quickly because it was actually painful. That doesn't mean it's going to do that for you, but it did for me. So if you have, um, if you've ever had that before, it's kind of hard to know if that's going to happen to you, to be completely frank. Um, I've not really had it, but maybe with one other cup that I've really been able to pinpoint, yes, I'm having this weird shooting pain because it is suctioning to my cervix and giving me a hard time. So I really love the size of this cup and I think capacity wise it would have been perfectly fine for me, but I couldn't wear it because of pain. So I switched to the larger. Um, and the larger was completely adequate in terms of comfort for me. It did not have the same suctioning effect on my cervix because it's a wider diameter. So it wouldn't really have that same magic size where it just really latched onto my cervix. So uh, in that way, it was completely comfortable. Um, it just wasn't as leak free as I had hoped. And I think I have a kind of a wide, varied experience with menstrual cups, even though I do know my body really well, and I know menstrual cups really well, there are some cups that just aren't the best leak-free experience for me, and I've definitely given them a really good try and tried all the tricks that I know um, that typically work for me for other cups. This one just didn't give me a leak-free experience. I don't know if it's the rim or if it's just this, I don't know. So I am not an all-knowing person, and I did give it two cycles uh, between the two different sizes, testing them out to make sure what I was experiencing was going to be, you know, what I'm going to experience. And I feel like out of everyone on the planet, if I can't get a cup to work in two cycles, then it's just not the cup for me. That's one of those frustrating mystery leaks that just happened for me for this large Venus cup. Um, the small, it, because it was so uncomfortable, I just didn't get to give it enough time to see if it was leaking or not. Um, it was suction right around my cervix, so one would hope. Um, but that's it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it caught caught the majority of it, but there were just some annoying light leaks that I was uh, at one point wearing a cloth liner for because I wanted to continue testing this cup and I didn't want to ruin any underwear. Um, and so I was using either a cloth liner or period underwear just to give this the full review. And it really only happened on my heaviest day. Um, and then afterwards, things kind of settled up, so to speak. Um, but comfort wise, the larger was perfect for me. I did end up trimming the stem completely off. These grips are not robust grips. They're very decorative, but they're not super grippy. Um, and because it's a round base, that can definitely be a challenge when it comes to removing a menstrual cup from your body where things are very slippery. So um, I found it best to, like with most other cups, just bear it down to where I could really reach it, almost as if this were crowning outside of my body and then giving it that good uh, pinch. And I was very careful to make sure I was giving it a solid pinch because this, you know, this cup and this cup, um, but especially this cup, when I was removing it, I did not want to suction or pull on my cervix, not because I have an IUD. Um, and we actually dispelled that myth that you can't wear cups with IUDs because of the suction. That's not what removes them. It's pulling the strings 
down that would remove an IUD out of your body, not suction. But comfort-wise, it's not comfortable to pull on something that's suctioned, especially directly onto your cervix. So always remember to pinch, 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 pinch. To give you an idea of the sizing of Venus compared to a cup you might be more familiar with, I grabbed a Lunette. This is their Model 1, and this is the Venus size uh, small. So that's about really just a smidge longer in the total base, but lots more capacity and good uh, stem length, very, very close to each other in length. And then um, we'll get the Venus Large and the Lunette 2. Model 2, it's just a hair longer in the base, but not again, not by much. And the stem is just slightly longer in length. And it's still shorter than Diva, and Diva is one of the longer cups. And I think what most people are interested in in us reviewing the Venus is that it has a higher capacity. I can't personally test that out, even if the cup were working perfectly for me, because I don't have a heavy flow. So, I mean, I could wear this sucker all day and then some and not fill it up. That's just even on my heavy day. I am very lucky and I, I was actually having this conversation with my husband last night saying, you know, I'm really fortunate in my health, uh, my reproductive health, and um, I don't take that for granted. Um, so most cups work for me just fine, and I don't have to worry about overfilling them. If you do have to worry about overfilling them, then the Venus would be one of your better options. It's up there in capacity with Exo Flow and Super Jenny, nearly as much as the Marula XL. Um, uh, Yuki, I think the larger one has a higher capacity. We have a list of higher capacity cups on the website. So I can link that in the video description. And that's it. That's my experience with the Venus. I gave it a good two cycles. It was not a top for me. I think it could be a really good cup for other people. And based on the reviews on Amazon and the feedback we've been getting from community members, they really do love this cup. It is a great price and I think could be a good solution for those with a, high, a heavier flow um, or just someone who is petite, who wants a little more capacity for the size, I think you're gonna get that in the small. And don't forget to subscribe to Put A Cup In On YouTube. We would love to have you be here for all of our new videos when they post. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of the Venus. I'm thinking some of you have had a chance to try it since it came out, and make sure you give this video a like. Thanks so much. checking and I swear to God, if my audio is not working, I'm going to scream. Um, quickly, I will grab a cup. I'm talking to you as if that's gonna stay.